method for determination of specific charge E by M by Thomson's bar magnet method. The specific charge of electron is the ratio of charge on electron to the mass of electron. We know, know that the value of charge of electron is E is equals to 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb and the mass of electron is small m is equals to 9.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kilogram. Now here we have to measure the specific charge by Thomson's bar magnet method. Now principle, the specific charge of an electron can be determined when electrons moves in both magnetic field and electric field which are mutually perpendicular to each other so that net force on the electron is made zero. In this situation the direction of motion of electron remains perpendicular to both electric and magnetic field. Now apparatus wooden box magnetometer to fix direction and bar magnets and last one is CRT tube what is CRT the cathode ray tube is a vacuum tube that contains one or more electron guns and a phosphorescent screen and is used to display images. It modulates, accelerates and deflects electron beam onto the screen to create images. The image may represent electric waveform, pictures, radar targets or others. What is magnetometer? A magnetometer is an instrument that measures magnetism either magnetization of magnetic material like a ferromagnet or the direction, strength or the relative change of a magnetic field at a particular location. A compass is a simple example of a magnetometer, one that measures the direction of an ambient magnetic field. Formula E by M is equals to V into small y upon capital L into small n into small d into capital B square where capital B is equals to magnetic field capital V is equals to deflecting voltage small l is equals to length of plates capital L is equals to distance to screen from plate and last one capital D is equals to distance between the plates procedure to determine the angle we first place the magnetometer on the wooden box and rotate the dial so that 0 degree to 0 degree position that is north to south direction of wooden arc which is adjusted. Now we place the magnet pole along the scale in the east west direction at the same distance R1 and R2. Now we observe the deflection which is equilibrium deflection. In this, in this way we complete the first part of our experiment. In the second part, first we place the cathode ray tube on wooden box. That is 0 degree to 0 degree position of dial is perpendicular to the length of CRT. In this posi position, CRT is aligned along the north-south direction while scale are attached perpendicular to cathode ray tube that is east-west as we are we switch on the power supply and adjust the intensity and focus control to obtain a high spot on CRT screen.
Now we adjust the spot at zero position and place the bar magnet at R1 and R2 distance at which we noted the value of equilibrium deflection. After placing the bar magnets, we observe that the spot shifts from its zero position. We note down the deflection of spot as Y. Now we address that shifted spot at its zero position and note the corresponding deflecting voltage. Now we have to repeat this procedure for three different deflection positions. Now here we take three different observations for three different deflections that is for Y corresponding that is 0.8 cm, 1.0 cm and 1.2 cm and deflecting voltage 7.9 voltage. 12.5 voltage and 15.5 voltage respectively. Also, we take the observations for reverse in same way which is shown in observation table. Here we record the constant values that is number one length of plates is equal one is equals to two centimeter is equals to two into ten raised to the power minus two meter. Second, distance to screen from plates capital L is equals to 16 centimeter it is equals to 16 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter third one is distance between the plates small d is equals to 0 0.4 centimeter is equals to 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 meter and last one is horizontal components of earth's magnetic field capital b e is equals to 3.53 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 capital now we do calculations. The practical value of E by M is given by formula E by M is equals to V into Y upon capital L into small L into small d into capital B square. Where small V is equals to deflecting voltage, small Y is equals to deflection, small L is equals to length of plates, capital L is equals to distance to screen from plate. And last one capital D is equals to this. Therefore, we calculate the value of E by M by putting the values of V, Y, capital L, small L, small D, capital B, etc. On calculation, we get the different values of E by M which is nearly equal to the theoretical values of E by M which is 1.75 into 10 raised to the power 11 coulomb per kg. Percentage error in E by F is equals to theoretical yield minus practical yield upon theoretical yield into 100 which is 7.8 percent. Now result from the calculation we get the percentage error is equals to 7.8 percent and space